I am bored. What can I do to beat this boredom? Well, hello, it's me, Nathan Vader, and today I'm going to have a look at Jurassic Park pinball machine. <laughs> Hope that doesn't happen again. <laughs> so let's have a closer look at this pinball machine before we get started playing with it. So starting from the bottom there, you've got a nice sticker along there saying surveillance tracking ball in use. Tracking ball monitors dinosaur position in Jurassic Park. A nice JP logo there. The ball reset spinner there, so you just rotate that round to get the ball to relocate into this little hopper there. And then the trigger pull back releases the ball into the madness that is this pinball machine. And you've got your two triggers here to keep those balls from falling into the trap there. Um, you've got a load of bumpers here, and they're all different. So on this one here we've got the Dilophosaurus uh, and then you've got the Brachiosaurus and also as you're going around there are images of the dinosaurs that are kind of relating to what you're seeing here on the bumpers so you've got an image there of a Dilophosaurus and then you've got a Brachiosaurus there quite a large one there with a nice image of a Jeep there a little baby Jeep and then you've got the uh, engine helicopter there coming in with the caution logo there that's pretty cool and you've got the velociraptor logo and there they are the raptors quite happy quite cute looking raptors actually um velociraptor again there they doubled out they've got they've got two bumpers then you've got the t-rex the tyrannosaurus rex paddock bumper here and the t-rex that looks nothing like the film version and another jp logo there hiding at the top a nice little spinner there just to add a bit, little bit of fun when the ball's coming out and going around. And you've got a nice biohazard. Biohazard? <laughs> you've got a biohazard logo there. Warning, biological material. Tero, ter, teracho, teratogenic and mutagenic agents present. Well, I hope not. I wiped it down. <laughs> And a couple of like um, rubbers there to help the ball bounce as it's going around. Along the top, you've got this uh, sticker here saying Embryo Reproduction Monitor Counter with the JP logo. A uh, warning biological material there. And you've got a system check surge indicator sticker there with a little... Uh, I think it's LED, it might actually be an old filament bulb because um, it is quite old. And a really nice Jurassic Park logo going across there with electronic pinball game. They really like to plug this electronic thing back in the 90s because it was all the rage. And you've got a counter reset there so when you uh, want to start your score again, put it back to zero. You've got the battery compartment here. Interestingly, I bought this on on <laughs> on ebay and the seller made it quite clear that this did not work they said uh it wouldn't light up um obviously the pinball function worked fine but electronically it, it was dead so on the back of this you have the battery compartment and yeah it is looking a little bit scabby which is one of the first things you should always check is your battery terminals make sure you've got a good contact and uh, there is a bit of wear there so I was a bit mm, that might be a bit uh, dodgy um, so I got a uh, bit of fine sandpaper just to take the roughness off the corrosion because what happens over the years is the batteries get left inside these things and they will start to corrode and they will eat the terminals inside which basically then leads to bad connection and the, the item won't work so you need to do some work and I checked that and what I found was that it did come on but not straight away 
so it was on and off and that got me thinking well that sounds like a connection issue so i had a look again and what i noticed was if i was to place a piece of card to keep pressure on the batteries and then reintroduce the cover we have life so without further ado let's play some pinball now i've got the lights dimmed a little because what happens is when you strike one of these bumpers here a light will illuminate which is pretty cool for its age but also when you hit one of these bumpers it also adds to the score so if i reset the score there and then if we spin the ball round and then introduce it into here um idea it's a great it's a great toy uh, it's a little hard to play especially when I'm trying to do the camera work behind here <laughs> that was my little review of this Jurassic Park electronic pinball game I think it's great I just love how it has all this old artwork this retro styling the colors as well the stickers and the sounds as well, if you can hear it in some of the other clips that I showed you, they're actually hard dinosaur sounds. They don't sound anything like the one from the film, but still I'm happy enough that they're there and that it works. After being told it doesn't work and buying it knowing that it might not work, I was happy and I was going to accept it as long as I had a go at it first. And just having a little check of those battery terminals is always a good thing to do. If you've got a battery operated toy at home that you think might be dead, just double check and make sure that the terminals are just a little bit cleaner first before you completely write it off. And I'm glad that I double checked on this one because it's a great toy and it's uh, definitely welcomed into the Nathy Vader home of Jurassic. As always, uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Please uh, be sure to give it a little, little like and now uh, maybe consider subscribing. I don't know. You don't have to. And I'm also on Instagram and Twitter, so be sure to check out my pages for photos and videos that I post on nearly a daily basis on anything that I find that are all things Jurassic. But thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. I don't know. I'm going to go back to playing this anyway, so bye for now. Yes. Yes.